Hi, I'm Frida and welcome to my kitchen. Today I want to try to make kettle corn in my pressure cooker. And no, it's not going to use any pressure. In fact, I'm not even going to use the sled. I'm going to use a glass sled for my pots and pans. This is the closest sled that will fit on top of my pot liner. So I will be using it. It doesn't quite fit exactly, but it's very, very close. The next thing I want to do to get ready is have a pair of hot pads or silicone pot holders. This will enable me to grab the pot and the lid at the same time and give it a little stir, which is important when you're making kettle corn as it has sugar in it, which will burn. Here, bottom button, and I'm going to hit the adjust button so it says more. When you push the adjust button, it will toggle back and forth between less, normal, and more. Try it again. Saute. Adjust. That's more. That's less. That's normal. You want to have more. And while it's heating up, I'm going to put in my cooking oil. Okay, my pressure cooker says hot, and I'm going to try three kernels in here and then cover it and wait for three kernels to pop. I'm going to put the lid right here add the rest of my popping corn, add my sugar on top, and the next part is important. You want to use some hot pads or some silicone mats and lift up your lid and your pot and give it a swirl because you don't want that sugar to burn. You only have to do this a couple of times during the whole popping session. And it's nice to have that glass lid so you can see exactly what's going on with your popping corn. Make sure there's no sugar stuck at the bottom. Sizzling along nicely. Just starting to pop. It's starting to slow down. And let's see how many of those kernels are left behind. Get all the yummy pieces. I don't like the kernels. Okay, this is, I think, a two quart bowl, and that's how much popcorn it makes. I think it's perfect for two people, or in my case, just one. It's sweet, slightly salty, and perfect for any time. Now you may be wondering, why pop this in your pressure cooker when you can do it on the stove? Well, if you're RVing, camping, or outside watching a movie, or down in the basement watching a movie, and there's no kitchenette or stove, well, if you've got your Instant Pot, you can make this popcorn. So good.